Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to flash the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 development kit using Jetpack 3.0. Let's get started. Okay, let's go over our setup. This is Shark Mako Plush. On the left, we have a display, keyboard and mouse, all hooked up to a PC. The PC is running Ubuntu 14.04. On the right, we have a display, mouse and keyboard, all hooked up to a Jetson development kit. Both the PC and the Jetson are hooked up via Ethernet to a switch. The switch is connected to the internet. The PC is called the host and the Jetson is called the target. Let's switch over to a screencast and install Jetpack on the PC. To start our installation, let's download Jetpack. I've created a folder to store Jetpack in. I've also gone to the NVIDIA developer website for the Jetpack download. Let's save this link as, and we'll throw it in here and save it. Once it is saved, we'll change the execution permissions on it. Properties, permissions, allow executing file as program, close. And let's open up a terminal. Let's switch over to our directory. And run the installer. Here we go. Jetpack is for software and system engineers who want to implement AI deep learning solutions for intelligent devices. That's us. Next. The components will be installed in the following directory. Next. Here's where we select our development environment. In our case, we're installing on a Jetson TX2. For a TX1 or TK1, it's a similar procedure. We've chosen TX2. Next. It asked me for my password. So we'll do a full install. That installs everything on the host and on the target and compile some of our CUDA samples for us. There's a lot of stuff on here, man. Next, please read the license agreements. Hmm. Nope, I'm just gonna accept it. My fate is sealed, accept. This takes a while. A lot of stuff to download and install. Okay, so it's asking me to pay attention now. That's kind of scary. Additional user input may be required. Okay. Verifying. Completed host installation. Click next to proceed. Next. Please select the network layout. That looks correct. Next. Please select the network interface. Okay, next. Here's the following actions. A lot of stuff. Next. Please put your device to force USB recovery mode. When you are ready, press enter. Let's do that. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is shut down our Jetson. Shut down, shut down. 
Okay, we have our handy dandy programming cable that came with the kit. So let's put the USB into the host. And then I'll show you how to put the Jetson into force recovery mode. Okay, the instructions say to place the system in force USB recovery mode. Power down the device. Remove the AC adapter from the device. So we'll do that. Connect the micro B plug on the USB cable to the recovery USB micro B port on the device in the other end to an available USB port on the host PC. Okay, we can do that. Connect the power adapter to the device. Okay. Press and release the power button to power on the device. Press and hold the force recovery button. While pressing the force recovery button, press and release the reset button. Wait two seconds. Okay, we should be ready to flash. Let's open up another terminal. And then we will sing the song, LSUSB. And there it is, 0955-7C18. So we're good to go. Let's press the Enter key. Okay, the TX2 is booting up. That's a good sign. Oh, we have a desktop. Let's see. Waiting 30 seconds to make sure the target is fully up. Now Jetpack will put on all the extras that we selected on the Jetson. Installation of target components finished. Press Enter key to continue. Enter. Jetpack L4T has been installed. Finish. Hooray. Okay, so let's switch over to a screencast of our Jetson and run some of the samples. Okay, let's run the car detection demo, which uses a neural net to detect cars in video. The first thing that we'll do is crank the CPU and GPU clocks here. Okay, let's go find our little demo. Tegra Multimedia API. That sounds like it. Read me. Okay. Okay, let's switch over to the demo directory. It's called backend. <laughs> Samples, backend. There it is. Let's switch to that directory. And we want to run this command here. This will take a little while as it builds up its cache for the model. And there we go.
the video itself is 10 frames per second. So that's why it appears a little bit stuttery. But it looks like it's detecting all the cars. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.